indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Thursday dared the federal government led by President Muhammadu Buhari to stop them from launching Radio Biafra in Daura, hometown of the president. Their challenge came barely 24 hours. The federal government approved $654 million for the deployment of hybrid spectrum monitoring system that will target illegal frequencies in the southern part of the country, especially the southeast. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Dr. Issa Pantami, yesterday briefed members of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, how his ministry uncovered 320 frequencies being used all over the country, and of these 320, 106 were illegal. Pantami said the monitoring did not cover southeast. It covered five zones in the country, northeast, northwest, north central, southwest, and south south, but southeast has not been covered. It's west. He said it is because of this that we presented a memo seeking for the council's approval of six hundred and fifty three million naira to procure and deploy hybrid spectrum monitoring system that will cover the south the southern part of the country, most importantly the southeast. So the council approved for the developments for the deployment and this project will go a long way in promoting safety and security and secondly identify the usage of illegal spectrum and thirdly enhance revenue for the federal government and fourthly in the long run it will create many jobs for the citizens. Uh -huh. They're always talking of job, <laughs> job that is never there. Hmm. Hiked by these developments, IPOP in a statement by its publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, said, for daring us, we will launch Radio Biafra in Daura. And the full, full statement uh, reads, IPOP to Buari, for daring us, we will launch Radio Biafra in Daura. The attention of the global movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, ably led by ably led by a great leader Mazinam Dekano has been drawn to the approval of six hundred and fifty four million naira by the federal government of the federal government of Nigeria to monitor and crash radio Biafra frequencies in the country, particularly in south and south south geopolitical zones. This wicked but footside decision was taken during their Federal Executive Council meeting held on Wednesday seven 7th of October 2020, that the federal government of Nigeria, headed by President Mohamedou Buhari, mapped out such a whooping amount of money for this unreasonable project despite its precarious economic state, only confirms its G3 over the name IPOB. We thought they said we are miscreants. How come they are now losing sleep over miscreants? The Nigerian government and its agents have spent more than this amount on in the past and nothing came out of it. We are expecting them to approve more money for the fight because they must understand that they will not they will try but cannot withstand IPOP and its leader, Mazinam Dekano. Such attempts in the past amounted to effort in futility and this time they will fail and they will fail again. In fact, to prove to them how formidable we are, within six weeks from now, IPOP will launch Radio Biafra in Daura, the hometown of Buari, who presided over the fact that took this kind of decision. Anytime he visits Daura along with Aisha, they will receive Radio Biafra frequency and listen to the gospel of freedom by her leader, Namdi Kano. Then he will know that the Kaaba, their sponsors and slaves are no match to indefatigable IPOP. In case they are unaware, Radio Biafra is not only received in Biafra land but in various parts of Nigeria. It is also the choice radio station of millions of audience in over 100 countries of the world. We are well ahead of Nigeria and it is far too late to stop Biafra. We are a divine movement ordained by the Most High God. God in heaven, Chuko Kikabiyama, who created heaven and earth. The Nigerian government has failed in the past and it will quickly fail again in this fight. IPOP cannot be decimated until Biafra freedom and independence are fully achieved. 
Biafra is a divine, divine project. We know that the presidency, as usual, will try to use their slaves and hoods in Biafra land and Nigeria to fight IPOP, but without success. We are miles ahead of them. We are aware that government recruited and pays some of them just to use them for all the jobs for they should not but they should not forget that eternal regret is the reward of treasury we now understand why some traitors and saboteurs among biafrans are making frivolous and concocted press statements on the pages of newspaper attacking ipop leader mazin Namdekano in a way of showing their loyalty to the caliphate so they could collect money to collect more money from the windfall no wonder these people in Biafra land were busy mouthing their rubbish on social media and newspapers last week because they probably got a tip of tip off that the federal government was about approving more money to fight Biafra or to fight IPOP members and Biafra people. Hmm. Now say they are going to open Radio Biafra. Open Radio Biafra in Daura so that they will be getting all of those things. <laughs> These people, they are not ready to, to back down. And they say the only way to decimate, uh, decimate them is when Biafra is fully what is fully achieved. Well, let's see how it goes. Just like they know what they are doing, they are bold on what they are doing and the, what they are talking about. So that people will be hearing the freedom, the, the truth. Uh, the words of freedom and they'll be hearing the truth from Radio Biafra. They know what they are talking about. They know what they are doing. The most important thing is that in as much, they are not they are not taking people's lives. I don't think there's any problem in that. They are not taking people's lives. They are not making life uncomfortable for people. They are not say, terrorizing everybody. They are just saying what they want and I don't think anybody needs to fault them. You might not believe what they want, what they believe. That is their own that's the way they want to go about it, and that is their opinion, and they are entitled to that. So you can't fault them on that. So if that is what you want to do, but my own is that in as much they are not tampering with lives, they are not spoiling or they are not destroying properties, why not? Why not? Why would they not go for what they want? If you know what you want to go for, you know you are sure of what you want to go for, you go for it. And let everybody, at the end of the day, it is the survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. So, to me, in as much they are not in any way hindering people's progress, they are not taking people's lives, they are not disturbing people's businesses, they are not in any way danger to anybody, you know. Why not? Why not? Let them go for it. If you believe you want Nigeria, follow you through. Follow you through so that we have a better place. Follow you through. Let us have a better place and let us live in peace. That is just my own opinion. So... They said they are going to open Biafra Radio in Daura as the dear Buhari. So guys, let's hear your opinion and let us know your thoughts on this.